Now it's easiest to analyze the reflections of waves if we treat them as plane waves. What is a plane wave? Well, it's illustrated by this diagram over here. In a plane wave, all the wave fronts are parallel. So it means that instead of having curved wave fronts that are spreading out from a single point, we have flat wave fronts, like planes. Remember that in mathematics or in science, a plane is a long flat surface that extends for a very long distance. You might even say infinity. So this means that all the wave fronts are parallel to each other. They're all nice and big and flat, like a plane, which means that we can draw an arrow through all these planes to get a representation of what the wave looks like. It'll just be a straight line. We won't have to worry about it spreading out. Now, when a plane wave meets a different medium, part of it will be reflected, as we mentioned before. And we can see that in this diagram over here. The wave on the left is incident, and the wave on the right is reflected. Now, the reflected wave will end up coming away from the boundary at the same angle as the incident wave meets it. That means that this angle over here will be the same as this angle over here. In other words, the angle of incidence, that is the angle of the incident wave, will equal the angle of reflection, that is the angle of the reflected wave. When a wave strikes a medium, two new waves are created. So now we have two waves where we used to only have one wave. But we also know that we can't create or destroy energy. So how is it that we start off with one wave and end up with two? Well, the answer, of course, is that the new waves have less energy for each wave than the original wave. Each of the new waves carries less energy than the incident wave. And what this means is that the total energy carried away by these two new waves is going to be equal to the total amount of energy that was carried by the first wave. So the energy hasn't been created or destroyed, it's simply been split up into two different waves.